Hey guys, it's Fallen Ages. This is gonna be my last review of the day. Um, trying to just knock it out all right now. So, uh, this one is of Kotegawa Yui from Tula Brew. Um, this is a figure from the Moto series, so that's season two. Um, I like this figure. This is um, this is a pretty good one. Um, but uh, there's, I mean, the only complaint I have is proportion, but I'll show you that um, when I get to this review. So this one is a cast-off. Uh, it's a really nice one, too. Um, she has uh, about one, two, three, four, five, about eight parts to this uh, figure. Um, I'll show you what uh, this base looks like. So this is a clear... Um, Clear turquoise, I can I guess you could say, um, platform base. It's transparent, and it right here it says U E Kodegawa. So that's nice, and it also says Moto to Lover right up here. So that's nice, and then of course it's her in her um, in her uniform in uh, school. So there's some really nice folds here and there. The coloring is nice. It's very it's very detailed. Um, her expression is um, almost like she's about to say, say something to Rito about something shameless or something. So that's a nice, um, a nice expression. And her hair is right here in the back. I'm not going to show you underneath because I'm going to show you that like right now. This is a cast off, as I said. This is a one and eighth scale, I think, right? No, one and seventh. I'm sorry, one and seventh scale. So she doesn't have shoes on. Oh, I should show you that first. So let me put her on the base first. A little awkward how to put on her base, because you just got to find how big the holes are, and then just stick it on her foot, her left foot. Stick it on like that. You probably didn't see that because my hand was in my way, but... Yeah, you just look for the holes that are bigger and smaller, and you can put her on the, the base. So put her on the base. The one thing that's hard about this uh, figure is these. So these are her shoes. They're really nice. They're just, I mean, they're full black, but there's oh, not black. They're full brown. Just a little bit of detail. So, I mean, you can't really find out which one's which. I mean, like this may be the right. This one may be the left. But they fit on her hands. So to put her on her hand on the hands, I mean, like the hook of the back, you stick it right on the on her hand, and she can hold it just like that. But then, like they're so loose that they fall off sometimes. So. Sometimes when I, uh, I open up my glass case, I try to put it on, like it rumbles and it falls just like that. So I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna put on the uh, the shoes, see how it's just dangling like that, and then on this one, I mean, sometimes this one just stays in place, but you can't really guarantee it. But that's how it looks. So it looks pretty good. Put your shoes on, but of course it falls whenever it moves. So putting on a rotating base, maybe, but at the same time, you don't want to risk putting putting these on and like they all fall off or whatever. So it's up to you. Um, I leave her just just like this. I mean, if I had rotating base, I probably wouldn't put her on it because her shoes might end up falling. So there's that. That's how she looks with her uniform on. So I'll show you how to take her off and uh, take off her clothes to see the inside. So her head comes off. Just pull firmly. Well, that came off pretty easily, but now she's headless. Sleepy Hollow. So, um, take this off. You can see the linings here, the cuts on both sides. So I just lift up. You can expand it as much as you, as you can, and then it could it should just come off pretty nicely. Just lift up. Just like that. You can see the inside already. It's a swimsuit. Take off from the cuts and then just pull it off. And there's her. So I was talking about proportions uh, a while ago. The proportions are not that great because her torso part is pretty small compared to her legs. Her legs are like out there. So the proportions are not that um, great, but they're still a good looking figure. 
So let me put her head on, because it looks pretty damn weird without her head. So let me put on her head, and there you have it. There's Yui, all in her bikini. Let me put her on the base. And it's not her shoes this time. She has actual slippers or um, sandals, actually, that she puts on her uh, on her hands. So same thing. If you want to put her on a base, go ahead and do it. But if you want her uh, slippers or her sandals to stay on her hands, I don't recommend putting her on a base. I mean, a base is fine. A rotating one, I don't know. So there's her with the slippers on. It's nice. I like it. Um, I'm actually going to put her back on um, the uniform because I'm following school. So, like, it's not summer anymore. So, I'm going to put, put it back on. But when I get, you know, maybe I want to put it back on like this. So, I'll just do whatever. So, it's up to you, up your preference, whatever you want. So, this is her again in the bikini. I'm rotating her around a little bit just to make sure you can see everything. Wow, they're actually not falling. So yeah, that's her and her bikini. You use like my hmm, third favorite. So yeah, there's Kodegawa from Tulavru. And that's my last figure review of today. I have other figures to review, but I'm going to do those later. So, uh, this one's nice. Um, I need a bigger glass case, to be honest, because I have too many figures again. Or I might sell some, maybe. There's some I haven't done open. But, um, bigger glass case because I'm actually trying to get um, as much of the girls from Tula Brew as possible and put them on a glass case all together so it looks better. So, the, by the time I do another review, all of them are um, displayed nicely. I mean... They're all on different, like, series. It's like, um, how Mikan is in Darkness, this one's in Moto, and then the other two, uh, Lala and, uh, Yami are from, um, the original. So, I mean, as long as I have all the figures, I don't really care. I mean, it's kind of pointless when you have, like, multiple of the same person, which I almost did with Yami, but I decided not to since I already have her. But yeah, that's it, um... Hopefully this uh, review has been a little helpful for you guys to see what Yui looks like and how her cast off comes off. And um, hopefully soon, or in November, I'm going to do the review for the next figure that I'm going to get. So thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe, and uh, ask ask away about anything you guys want to ask me. Price, anything like that. Just send me a message, and I'll get to it. Thanks for watching.